Good evening, Mike Pompeo here. It's truly an honor for me to be here to be part of your celebration, celebrating this great award, the American Task Force for Lebanon that you're giving to Ambassador as well. I'd have never dreamed then that I was going to be his boss as a Secretary of State, but when I got the chance, I scooped him up to become uh, my most senior foreign service officer, my most senior foreign policy advisor as the Undersecretary for Political Affairs at the State Department. David did great work on behalf of the country. Uh, he never lost track of what was taking place in the Middle East. Uh, he and I were working diligently to crush Hezbollah together. He is an amazing patriot. It's great that you are honoring him. Uh, I know so many of you uh, for, from my home state of Kansas as well bless you for honoring a really special person, David Hale. Congratulations, David. Much deserved. Ambassador David Hale on sabbatical from the State Department is a distinguished diplomatic fellow at the Wilson Center. A brief survey of his 38-year career is a reminder that he served three times in Lebanon and was instrumental in many of the political, education, and security ties between our two countries. He served as ambassador to Pakistan, to Lebanon, and to Jordan, special envoy to Middle East Peace, deputy envoy, deputy assistant secretary of state covering Egypt, Israel, Jordan, Syria, the Palestinians, and Lebanon. Before becoming ambassador, Hale served twice in Lebanon, as well as in Israel, Tunisia, Jordan, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia. In Washington, Hale was Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Israel, Egypt, and the Levant, and Director for Israel-Palestinian Affairs. As Secretary of State for Political Affairs, he was responsible for the conduct of U.S. foreign relations globally. He supervised the department's six regional bureaus and the Bureau for International Organizations, as well as all American embassies, consulates, and missions abroad. Hale has received numerous awards and honors over the years, including three Presidential Rank Awards of Meritorious Service in 2012 and the Secretary of State's Distinguished Service Award in 2013, among others. The ATFL takes special pride in awarding the 2022 Philip C. Habib Award for Distinguished Public Service to its longtime friend, Ambassador David Hale. Well, good evening, and um, thank you very much. I have to say, having watched the ATFL video version of my life, I much prefer that one to the humdrum reality of day-to-day uh, -day <laughs> existence. Um, and I do think you've probably heard enough about me, so I'd rather take this time to, uh, to talk about all of you um, for a few minutes. Uh, I'm not speaking for anyone but myself, uh, but first, a huge thank you for the honor uh, of this award. Uh, I'm very grateful that Lebanon and the Lebanese-American communities have been a big part of my life. And secondly, I want to thank all of you and ATFL for your passion and for your commitment to the American-Lebanese relationship and to doing all we can to make that relationship reach its full potential for Americans and for Lebanese. Not all ambassadors sit in embassies. In fact, some of the very best stand outside government, weaving the educational, business, cultural, humanitarian, and philanthropic ties that have bound these two countries since American merchant vessels first visited Beirut in the 18th century. ATFL has led in this effort for decades. And when I was first assigned to Lebanon over 30 years ago, it was George and Deeb who sat me down for a tutorial on Lebanon, and that was the first of many. Uh, they and many of you have been crucial partners for generations of American diplomats, some of whom are in this room, and including myself, in promoting our ties. So I'm very, very grateful for that. This is a distressing time for Lebanon, as we saw, and as all of you know, uh, as we saw in the video, and all of you know, but there are always signs of hope, and we must grasp those. One of them, is in the few purple fingers that I see in the audience tonight, uh, evidence that you voted in the elections uh, this past week. And that's a sign, I see a few people waving their hands, that's a sign that you are not giving in uh, to pessimism. Uh, similarly, I'm confident that the United States will not give up on Lebanon and will continue to invest in such institutions as the Lebanese Armed Forces. Ultimately, of course, we look to the Lebanese people and leadership for the kind of reform initiatives that we can support. Washington can help but we can't make the tough decisions that are only and are required of elected Lebanese leaders. Nor can our help really matter, frankly, until those tough decisions are made. Uh, through all of your multifaceted connections uh, back to Lebanon, I hope you can emphasize this reality. 
And meanwhile, tonight's a celebration, um, so let's go back to enjoying ourselves and moving on with the program, uh, getting the hairy eyeball, I think, from Ed, so I better move off the stage. But thank you very much. Thank you.